Science tells us that storytelling is one of the most efficient methods to retain facts and our brain finds it easier to remember stories and events than names and numbers. So today we're going to learn facts with the help of stories. Do you really think you'll remember all these disorders during the exam? Well, I don't think you can really trust your brain. And the questions are usually framed like this. All of the following are autosomal dominant except and these are the options. So here the answer is C, that is Fabry's disease, which is sex-linked recessive. Now, this means that not only should you know all the disorders that come under autosomal dominant, you should also know all the sex-linked recessive disorders so that you can pick the odd one out. Today, I'm going to tell you four stories for all the four headings. So let's dive right in. The autosomal dominant disorders are von Willebrand, Gardner syndrome, familial hypercholesterolemia, osteogenesis imperfecta, Marfan syndrome, Men's syndrome, Elher Danlos, neurofibroma, achondroplasia, tuberous sclerosis, Huntington chorea, retinoblastoma, intermittent porphyria, adult polycystic kidney, hereditary spherocytosis, and dystrophic myotonia. So the story for autosomal dominant disease goes like this. Very dominant man named Marfin used his retina to hunt for tuberous potatoes in his garden. He thought that's the reason for his cholesterol and neurofibroma. So basically there was a man, his name was Marfin, he's very dominant or very bossy to everyone. And um, he had cholesterol and neurofibroma. And he thought the reason for that is because he ate the tuberous potatoes from his garden. So he used his eye or retina to hunt for them in the garden. So the word very will help you remember von Willebrand because we and we dominant to help you remember that we're talking about autosomal dominant disease, man for men syndrome, Marfan because Marfan syndrome and that's why I've drawn a tall man with long hands, retina, eye because retinoblastoma, hunt for Huntington chorea, tuberous for tuberous sclerosis, garden for Gardner syndrome, cholesterol for familial hypercholesterolemia, neurofibroma for neurofibroma 1 and 2. If you look closely, you can see neurofibroma on his body and the yellow spo spots that are shown are cholesterol. On the right side, you can see tuberous potatoes in his garden. This is how tuberous potatoes look like and this is neurofibroma story is not over yet. So when his little brother, his means Marfin's little brother heard this, his name is Elher, okay. So Elher, Marfin's little brother heard this, he tells him that these potatoes was the reason that gave him achondroplasia. People with achondroplasia, they are short. So that's why Elher is drawn as a short person. And you can see that he has a round face, a sphere face. This helps you remember the disease hereditary spherocytosis, sphere and spherocytosis. And <clears throat> you can see that his hands are very thin. I've drawn it very thin. This will help you remember dystrophic myotonia. So basically, Elher is short, he is thin and he has a round face. Short will help you remember achondroplasia, thin for dystrophic myotonia and round face for spherocytosis. And the name Elher will help you remember Elher syndrome. Next is autosomal recessive disorders. So if you look closely and listen to the names that I'm going to read out, you can spot them in the next story. Okay. So the list goes like this. Federic ataxia, phenylketonuria, galactosemia, cystic fibrosis, hemochromatosis, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, Wilson's disease, alcaptinuria, Lysosomal and glycogen storage disorders, muscular atrophy, adrenal hyperplasia, sickle cell disease, thalassemia and homocystinuria. So the next story is about thalassemia. She is a Greek goddess. Her name is thalassemia. She somehow wanted to get rid of a cyst which is there in, his, in her hand. So she tried various methods. First she tried frying the cyst by putting her hand on a copper vessel. Then she tried cutting it out with an iron sickle knife. Then she tried to put phenyl in it. And then she finally gave up and put a cap on it. So 
Thalassemia is the Greek goddess and she had a cyst on her hand. So she fried the cyst by putting her hand on a copper vessel is what I told. Now we know that accumulation of copper leads to a disease and that is Wilson's disease. And because she tried to fry that cyst, the muscle around that got destroyed. So muscular dystrophy. Now the second method she used was cutting it with the iron sickle knife. A sickle knife which is made of iron. Okay. So this um, led to accumulation or absorption of iron in her body. And this led to hemochromatosis. We know that hemochromatosis means increased amount of absorption of iron. Okay. So sickle for sickle cell anemia and hemochromatosis for hemochromatosis. Now, the third thing that she did was she put phenyl in it. We know that phenyl is a chemical disinfectant and it's used to clean floors or surfaces. So this chemical, what that caused was it caused glycogen storage disorders and lysosomal storage disorders in her body. Okay, so that is GSD and LSD that I've put here. Then she got fed up with all these methods because all of them failed and she said to herself, I'll just put a cap on it. So I'll put a cap on it. I'll cap. That sounds like alcaptonuria. So that will help you remember alcaptonuria. So now let's find the hidden disorders once again. Thalassemia is the name of the goddess. So thalassemia disease is covered. Cyst, cystinuria, Wilson's disease, muscular atrophy, hemochromatosis, sickle for sickle cell anemia, phenyl for phenyl ketonuria, GSD and LSD is glycogen and lysosomal storage disorders and IL cap is alcaptonuria. Next is X-linked dominance, so hyperphosphatemia type vitamin D rickets, incognitia, pigmenti, Alport syndrome, orofacial digital syndrome. And the story is at the airport, Cover your face and fingers inside gloves and mask. So all this covering means no sun exposure, which leads to vitamin D rickets. So why do you cover your face and fingers at the airport? To prevent yourself from getting COVID. All right. So airport will help you remember Alport syndrome. Face and finger will help you remember orofacial digital syndrome. Inside will help you remember incognitia pigmenti and vitamin D rickets for hyperphosphatemia type vitamin D rickets. Next is X-linked recessive disorders, leash nyhan, hemophilia, Huntington disease, um, G6PD, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, colored brightness, A gamma globinemia, fragile X, Fabry's disease, Wiscott adrich, diabetes insipidus, chronic granulomatous disease. So here there is a king. His name was Leish Naihan. He was a Chinese king. He was colorblind. And because he was colorblind, he could not see this particular fabric, a cloth that he's looking for. It's very colorful because he's colorblind. He can't see it. So he used his coded axe, this axe which had a cord on it. to He used it to hunt for that magic fabric. This magic fabric will help him cure his Duchenne muscular dystrophy. That's why he wanted it so badly. Okay. So I've also given the king a red crown. Now, why is that? This is to show hemophilia. So he had hemophilia also. Why king and hemophilia? Because hemophilia is called the king's disease or the royal disease. So that will help you remember hemophilia. Now, Leash Nihan for the name of the king that will help you remember Leash Nihan disease, color blind for color blindness and coded. I have written a code on the axe. It is G6PD. That will help you remember G6PD deficiency and there's an axe. He's holding an axe. Now axe has an X on it. So X will help you remember fragile X disease. Hunt will help you remember Huntington disease. Fabric for Fabry's disease, muscular dystrophy. Now he had this muscular dystrophy, right? So this will help you remember muscular dystrophy. And I've drawn his hands very thin. So that will also help you remember Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So we just covered all the four stories. Now, before I leave, I want to clarify a few things. 
So if you look at this list, I have highlighted a few diseases in green and yellow. So these are the diseases which have not been covered in the story. And I don't want you to miss out on this. If you can make your own stories, well, great. You can even leave a comment on what you um, made to include these diseases in the stories. So these are diseases that you have to learn, but I have not included that. I couldn't include that in the stories. Okay. Now you will see dystrophic myotonia, muscular atrophy and Duchenne muscular dystrophy in three different types of diseases. So um, dystrophic myotonia, first one, is what we see with Elher. Elher was Marfan's brother, remember? Autosomal dominant. So that is dystrophic myotonia. Now second one is muscular atrophy. So atrophy is destruction and we see that Greek goddess, her name was thalassemia. She tried to burn the cyst. When she tried to do that, the muscle got destroyed. So atrophy, when atrophy is there, you should remember thalassemia, the Greek goddess. And that was autosomal recessive. Next was uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now this is, this Duchenne sounds like duchess or something related to the royalty. So you know that it's related to King Lee Schneihan. This was the last one that is sex linked recessive and Huntington chorea and Huntington disease both are seen. So Huntington chorea, how will you remember? C H O chorea's co co is also seen in cholesterol, which is seen in the autosomal dominant story. We see that Marfan had cholesterol, right? So co will help you remember cholesterol as well as chorea or Huntington chorea. Now the other Huntington is for the king that is. Leash Nainan, he was hunting for the magic fabric. So hunt for Huntington disease. If you enjoyed watching those stories, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you have any topics that you find very difficult, please do leave those in the comments so that I can make a video on the same. Thank you.